game of life and how to play it. Audiobook. Lest it be forgotten. What? Subscribe. Stamina. Chapter 11 of The Game of Life and How to Play It. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. Chapter 11 Denials and Affirmations. For Prosperity. God is my unfailing supply, and large sums of money come to me quickly, under grace, in perfect ways. For right conditions. Every plan my Father in heaven has not planned shall be dissolved and dissipated, and the divine idea now comes to pass. For right conditions. Only that which is true of God is true of me, for I and the Father are one. For faith. As I am one with God, I am one with my good, for God is both the giver and the gift. I cannot separate the giver from the gift. For right conditions. Divine love now dissolves and dissipates every wrong condition in my mind, body, and affairs. Divine love is the most powerful chemical in the universe and dissolves everything which is not of itself. For health. Divine love fills my consciousness with health and every cell in my body is filled with light. For the eyesight. My eyes are God's eyes. I see with the eyes of spirit. I see clearly the open way. There are no obstacles on my pathway. I see clearly the perfect plan. For guidance. I am divinely sensitive to my intuitive leads and give instant obedience to thy will. For the hearing. My ears are God's ears. I hear with the ears of spirit. I am non-resistant and am willing to be led. I hear glad tidings of great joy. For right work. I have a perfect work in a perfect way. I give a perfect service for perfect pay. For freedom from all bondage. I cast this burden on the Christ within, and I go free. End of chapter 11 Recording by Amy Conger End of The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin.